गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑन प्रिसीजन एग्रीकल्चर कंसेप्ट्स एंड टेक्निक्स देयर इश्यूज एंड कंसर्न्स फॉर द इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर यू कैन सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रिसीजन एग्रीकल्चर प्रिसीजन एग्रीकल्चर इज एन इंफॉर्मेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बेस्ड फार्म मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम टू आइडेंटिफाई एनालाइज एंड मैनेज वेरिएबिलिटी विद इन द फील्ड्स बाय डूइंग ऑल द प्रैक्टिसेस ऑफ क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन इन राइट प्लेस राइट टाइम इन राइट वे फॉर ऑप्टिमम प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी सस्टेनेबिलिटी in the protection of the land resource here we can see the precision agriculture is the aim, main aim or is the part of this uh, information and technology which were to manage the field or farm to identify find uh, uh, the find the nutrients ability uh, analysis of this uh, uh, nutrients uh, status and the manage the variability regarding the Uh, nutrients ability within the field by doing all the practices regarding the right place uh, right time right way or the uh, application of these uh, nutrients or the fertilizers for optimum profitability that is to get the uh, more profit in a profit per uh, input use and the sustainability that is to provide the balance uh, production or uh, food production level and the protection of the environment this is the uh, concept or definition of precision agriculture precision agriculture is also defined as the in a, is an approach of uh, farm management that uh, uses the it or information technology to ensure that the crops and soil receives exactly what they need for optimum health and productivity as the, uh, here we discuss the uh, precision agriculture is the main approach for the management of farm that where uses the information technology to get the more crop yield as well as to maintain the soil health exactly uh, and simultaneously we have to uh, check out or evaluate the need of optimum soil health and the productivity it is soil health means that is by physical chemical and biological properties of soil should be improved by the way of uh, application of the inputs in the right amount right time right place right way or the right manner and then also improve the productivity levels that is to use to be exact as or as needed for, uh, to the soil or the crops to so apply the nutrients it will be increase the productivity uh, of the crops as well as soil the main goal of this pa or precision agriculture is to maintain the profitability maintain the sustainability and the protection of the environment and then pa is also called as satellite agriculture as needed farming and the site specific crop management it is ssca next one the concept of precision agriculture offers the promise of increasing productivity while decreasing production cost and the minimizing environmental impacts as the concept of precision agriculture as we can see the increasing the productivity level by reducing the use of these inputs or the ex- excess use of the inputs which were also helps to minimize the environmental impacts it is the techniques that is precision agriculture is a technique of applying the right amount of fertilizers or the inputs or the pesticide or water at the right location and the right time to enhance the production decrease the input or uh, uh, and protect the environment is the uh, way of right time of amount of or the place of the application of the inputs or uh, it may be fertilized pesticide or water helps to enhance the production level without their losses it will decrease the excess or the cost of the inputs and then also protect the environment then precision farming is defined as the application of technologies and the principles to manage the spatial and temporal variability associated with all the aspect of agricultural production you can see the various technologies uh, especially geo spatial technology and the principles to manage the spatial means specific uh, geo reference information will be Uh, will uh, will be collected with the help of the geospatial technology and the sp- temporal variabilities also will be evaluated within the field to helps to increase the agricultural production and precision farming or the <coughs> site specific crop management refers the development of agriculture management system that promotes the variable uh, management practices within the field according to the soil or site conditions according to nrc given 1997 then precision farming within the field is also referred as a site specific crop management system that is ssc next one you can see the concept of precision agriculture the simple concept 
of the PA is the right input, right time, at right amount, right place, and the right manner. As the inputs of the agriculture, we should be applied the input as per the need of the crop or as per the needed to the soil uh, in the right input that is source of selection in right time as the need of crops will be applied the fertilizers in right amount as per the recommended dose in right place as the uh, crops are sown uh, in a place where they will be apply the um, nutrient or input and the right manner that is method this is the major uh, concepts of the PA with in this uh, concept of precision agriculture strictly based on the GPS which were be used in the or developed by the United States of America in the defense scientists for executives of the US Defense Department the unique character of the GPS in precision farming in time and space as the PA is the main name implies refers to application of the precise and correct amount of the inputs like water fertilizer pesticide etc at the correct time to the crop or increasing its productivity and maximizing its yields. This is the concept of precision agriculture. Then precision agriculture is called as satellite farming. As we implement the correctly, precision farming is the process that allows users to deal with the every possible variation found in the field and field sections. With the help of the precision farming, we have to evaluate the field variations, especially nutrient availability, moisture availability, and the other basic needs or resources which will be required for the crop production should be uh, evaluated with the help of this precision farming. When implementing the correctly, the precision farming is the process that also uses to deal with every possible variations found in the field as the field sections will be uh, studied in the precision farming. As then uh, you know, go gain more knowledge with respect to your fields and its variations which along with their implementation of the well-planned precision farming, you farm your farm will benefit from the increased yield and higher profits. With the help of the precision farming, the, you have to evaluate or check out the, or assess the field variability. And then uh, after assessing the field variability, you have to analyze that uh, variability within the space, spatial and temporal. And then accordingly, uh, whatever the inputs are required should be applied in right time, right place, right location, right manner, or right way. This is the concept of precision farming. And then also the uh, farm management and optimizing returns. The two things are worth immediate uh, consideration in the uh, for optimizing the inputs. Uh, what do what does that mean? It means that to optimize your returns in the by applying the appropriate inputs in the right place and the correct amount. The new technology where satellite imagery provided by GPS technology is improving its capability just uh, like other information technology systems, which where we uh, including the precision farming to uh, evaluate these complex systems within the field as well as the variabilities within the field where the GPS and the other uh, geospatial technology has to be used to increase their accuracy and capabilities of the modern technologies and then uh, precise, precise position although it is true that the precision farming is not only driving the straight but you uh, straight using your GPS system to accurately guide your desired position is necessary foundation for all the uh, follows uh, all that follows driving the straight because of the majority of farmers understand the basic uh, benefits of using the proper gas rows or driving straight is, is uh, typically considered to be the given the proper positioning helps farmers to apply right um, number of the inputs or right amount of the inputs in the proper appropriate place and they are record accordingly recording the yield as uh, as applied data and the information available with respect to how much or how each uh, sections of the field is for farming as per the precision farming and next one the need of precision farming the global food system faces formidable challenges today that will be increased the marketing markedly over the next 40 years as you know the uh, there will be over growing populations and then to meet the basic needs that is food fiber fuel will be immediately to achieve this uh, food production level with the use of current technologies and the knowledge will give the sufficient will and investment but coping with these future challenges will require more radical changes uh, in the food system and investment in research to provide the new solution to the novel uh, problems 
then all the decline the is uh, then the, currently there is a decline in the total productivity diminishing and degrading natural natural resources stagnating farm incomes lack of eco regional approach declining and fragmented land holdings trail liber- liberalization on agriculture limited employment opportunity in non farm sector and global climate variation have the major concerns or the problems in the agriculture growth and development we should need to avoid these problems that is to increase the total productivity reduce the diminishing or uh, avoiding the degradation of natural resources stagnating the uh, farm income should be uh, increases these are farm incomes and improve their ecological regional approach and then uh, maintaining the land holdings and then avoiding the tra- liberalization and improving the employment opportunity helps to with the help of this precision farming therefore the use of newly emerged technology adoption is seen one of the key to increase the agricultural production in the future that is the precision farming will be the future emerge technology to be is needed to be ad- adopted for the increasing the productivity profitability sustainability as well as the food production level the farmers usually aware about that the fields are variable uh, across the landscape mm, then uh, these variable variations can be also trace with the help of the management practices soil properties or the environment characteristics the level of knowledge of field uh, conditions is difficult to maintain because of the currently the, uh, the large size and changes due to the annual shifts in the leasing arrangement in the farm area so the entire farm has to be divided into small units that is 50% or less precision agriculture offers the potential to automate and simplify the collection analysis of the variability within the field and also the management decisions to made we quick uh, made and quickly implement on the small areas within the large this is a major uh, need of this uh, precision agriculture the tools and equipments used in precision agriculture that is global positioning system gps uh, is a navigation system which will be based on network of the satellite that helps to uses uses to record the positioning information that is based on the working of gps will be the latitude longitude and elevation within the accuracy between 100 and 0, 0, 0.01 meter the gps allows the farmers to locate the exact position of the field information such as soil types pest occurrence invasion invasion water holes or boundaries and obstructions there is a controlling gps is a controlling uh, automatic controlling system with where the light or sound guiding panel that is dgps differential global positioning system antenna and receiver are used with the help of receiver the gps can collect the information within the filled with the accurate time or position or location uh, then the system will be fa- allows the farmers to reliably uh, reliably in, uh, identify the field locations so as the inputs like seed fertilizer pesticide or uh, irrigation or herbicides can be applied in individual field uh, based on the performance of the uh, inputs the, the crops the information is provided in the real time in the gps can provide the information in real time with the real location and then will be provided the continuous positional information while in motion also the uncorrected gps signal have the accuracy about 300 feet means above the 300 feet there will be correct uh, yeah, there will be the errors or uncorrected signals will be found in gps the second technology there is sensor technology where is the sensor technologies like electromagnetic conductivity photoelectricity ultrasound are used to measure the humidity visitation temperature texture structure physical character humidity nutrient level vapor air etc the remote sensing uh, this is a important sensor technology which should be used to the dis- distinguish or categorize the crop species locate trace conditions identify pests and weeds and monitor the drought soil and plant conditions the sensors enable the collections of the important or immense quantity of the data or the more quantity of data with the, without laboratory analysis this is the sensor technology where which where the remote sensing technologies are used to collect the information regarding the uh, various uh, uh, inputs or the uh, approaches uh, in the field which will be there in the physical chemical biological property or the different microclimatic conditions or the whatever the resources are required for the crops will be collected with the help of sensors 
this is a sensor technology third one the G gis geographic uh, information system in this system the uh, hardware software and procedures as well as the expert will be designed to support the compilation storage uh, retrieval analysis of the data the gis links uh, information in one place so that it will be explored when needed then computer computerized gis maps also the uh, develop with the help of the GIS that is for example yield maps, soil survey maps, rainfall maps, crops maps, soil, soil nutrient level and the pest statics maps. GIS is a kind of computerized map but it is real role is the statistical and special methods to be used for the graphing uh, sorry used for the geography and this character analysis and the farmers GIS database can provide the information on the field topography soil types surface drainage subsurface drainage soil testing irrigation chemical application rate coin uh, profit this is a gis is a software hardware and the procedures are the main part of the are the systems included in the gis which will be in computerized uh, gis will be used for the analysis uh, storage retrieving and compilation of the data and these uh, GIS can be used to make the different types of the maps, the yield maps, soil maps, soil types maps and also the nutrient level maps are to be used, uh, uh, should be prepared with the help of GIS and GIS also can provide uh, information to the farmers regarding the field topography, soil types, surface drainage, uh, soil testing, irrigation, chemical application as well as crop field. Next technology that is grid soil sampling and variable rate technology that is variable rate appli fertilizer application ART the variable rate technology that is VRT are automatic and may be applied to numerous farming approaches in VRT system the set of rate of delivery of farm inputs depending on the soil type noted in the soil map the information exploited from the GIS and be processed such as seeding uh, fertilizer and pesticide application herbicide selection and the application at the variable rate in the right time and right place. Uh, the VRT is the perhaps the most widely used precision farming system technology in the United States. In the VRT, the uh, discharge of or the delivery of supply of the uh, farm inputs which will be uh, help with the help of the applicator as per the need of the crop or as per this need of soil, uh, apply the nutrients in the accurate time or precise location in a precise time the grid soil sampling uses the same principle of soil sampling but it increases the intensity of sampling that is grid soil sampling is the concept is where the uh, collect the soil samples from the field which will be and every points of the field which will be intensity of collection of soil sample is the uh, more than the regular soil sample as the soil samples are collected in systematic grid is also have the location information that allows the data to be mapped and the goal of grid soil sampling is the map of nutrient needs is called the application map as per the map which will be prepared of the soil sampling which will apply the nutrients or the water which where the there is will be the deficiency this is the main goal of grid soil sampling the samples may be collected in the grid uh, soil sampling that is more than one area of the field which follow into the same range of the yield soil color etc this is a major technology used in the precision farming. Then crop management, satellite data provides the farmers to better understanding the variation in the soil condition and topography. With the help of these uh, uh, farmers can therefore uh, precisely manage their production factor that is seed, fertilizer, pesticide, herbicides and the water control to increase yield and efficacy. Six one that is soil and plant sensors. Sensor technology an important component of the PA. The, uh, and their use is, can be widely reported to provide the information on the soil properties and the plant fertility or cross soil fertility as well as the water status. One of the most important way to characterize the variability of the soil uh, along with the surveying of the field uh, the electrical conductivity sensors can be also used for the uh, soil and plant and sensors. The, because of EC, ECA is a sensitive to changes the soil texture and salinity as we know the different types of sensors the soil sensor and plant sensor the soil sensors can are installed in the field uh, or soil itself that will, should provide the information regarding the soil type soil color soil textural class depth of soil 
and then group of soil then the drainage water holding capacity of soil and then nutrient supplying capacity of the soil nutrient ability the plant sensors are the sensors will provide the information regarding the uptake of the nutrients and deficiency of the nutrients and then moisture availability or moisture uptake and um, whatever the deficient uh, nutrients or unavailability of the nutrient and moisture will be um, give the detailed information through the sensors then the rate of rate controllers the rate controllers are the device will be designed to control the delivery rate of the chemical inputs such as fertilizer pesticide either liquid or granular these rate controller monitor the speed of tractor or sprayer that is installed in the controllers are installed in the tractor or sprayer which will travel across the field as well as the flow rate and the pressure of the material making delivery adjustment in the real time to the applied target rate the uh, this is the rate of control uh, rate controllers then i had num its technology that is a uh, precision irrigation in pressurized pressurized system that is in sprinkler or drip irrigation systems which were the recently developed the different commercial use sprinkler irrigation by controlling the irrigation machine motions with gps based controller in addition to motion control wireless communication and sensor technologies are also used for achieve the higher water application efficiency and the utilization by the crops then uh, next one we uh, can see the software the application of precision irrigation technology is where require the use of software that is to carry out the diverse task uh, the, such as display control interfacing information layering mapping and pre and post processing data analysis interpretation of data farm accounting of the inputs per hill per field and the many others it requires the software with the help of software to we should generate the gen, uh, maps for example yield maps soil maps and then software to filtering filtering the or uh, analyzing the uh, analyzing the uh, collected data then software also generate the variable rate application maps also then software also to overlap the different maps also to provide geo uh, statistical features then 10 number that is yield monitor yield monitor are the common uh, are the combination of several components which were the uh, calculate is used for, for the uh, measurement of this uh, uh, grain flow rate or volume of grain mass of grain separator speed gra ground speed or grain speed with the help of grain flow sensors the in case of the grains yield is continuous recorded by measuring the force of grain flow which will be installed in the threshing machine and or the threshers and all the yield monitors gps receiver has to be used to record the location of the yield data and the create the yield maps and then also they calculate uh, evaluate the the these sensors or the different yield monitors are used to uh, track the weight moisture and other information of the crops then uh, next one precision farming on the arable lands the use of the pa techniques and the arable lands it is most widely used and the most advanced among us farmers the precision farming uh, will be used to optimize the use of the fertilizers straight uh, starting starting with their three main nutrients nitrogen phosphorus as well as potassium in conventional farming these fertilizers are applied uniformly over the field at the certain times during the year but in case of the precision farming the fertilizers are applied in more precise amount with special and temporal components to optimize the application and then uh, precision farming especially uh, for the farmers to control the amount of inputs in arable lands with the help of vra that is variable rate application which were included the locator and actuator according to the location of the crop this should be applied the actual quantity of the inputs which will be combined with the VR, uh, VR that is variable rate control system is to be used to apply the inputs at the precise time and the precise location to achieve the site specific application rate of the inputs. The VRs they are the decided the on the basis of the basic priority measurement that is for example remote sensing or the machine monitor sensors are used to evaluate the variable rate application or the site specific application rate of the inputs next one 13 number that is precision farming within the field uh, within the fruits and vegetables and the viticulture sector 
in the fruit and vegetable farming the recent rapid adaptation of the mechan machine uh, visual vision methods allows the grower to grade the products and the monitor the food quality and the safety with the automatic system according to uh, parameters related to the production product, product quality uh, the in case of the viticulture or in the fruits or vegetables the color size shape external defects sugar content acidity and the other uh, internal qualities will be checked with the help of this uh, sensors or the different types of uh, geo special technologies they will be used then also the additionally tracking the field conditions or field operations such as chemical spraying or the use of fertilizers can be possible to provide complete fruit and vegetable processing methods are also useful information available with the help of this technology then development and adoption of pa technology and methodology methodologies in viticulture the viticulture term is related to cultivation of the grapes which will be the precision viticulture that is pv which is more recent than the arable lands the however the driven by the high value of the crops or the importance of the quality several research projects have already exist in the production areas of the world which where be grape quality and yield maps are the great importance during the harvest to avoid the mixing of grapes of the different potential wine qualities this is the major uh, technology which were used in the fruits or vegetables or the viticulture next one the pre precision uh, livestock farming that is plf the precision livestock farming is the management of livestock production using the principles and technologies from the precision agriculture as the we know the precision agriculture were used in the livestock system approach which will be included the uh, information that is the uh, animal growth milk and egg production detection and monitoring the disease and their aspects related to the animal behavior and the physical environment which are included in the precision livestock farming then also included in the monitoring the milk to check the fat and the microbial levels helping to indicate the potential infections as well as new robo robotic uh, feeding systems weighing systems robotic cleaners feed pushers and other aids out for the stockman such as imaging system to avoid direct contact with the animals that is in short this plf uh, which bear the management of the livestock production using the different principles and techniques or the methods from the precision agriculture as we know the milk production egg production uh, livestock farm record feeding record creation or feeding or ration record then uh, this vaccination record which will be contained with the help of this precision farming then last one that is online resource for, for the precision agriculture which where the wealth of information available over the internet will, will be uh, with the help of internet the new uh, technology to record the farm production and also the manufacture of the farm equipment gps receivers and sensors and other pa technologies are uh, used as a media to inform the growers to new products technical specification troubleshooting information then where a variety of services which will be used as online resource for the precision agriculture and last one remote sensor the remote sensors generally there are aerial or satellite sensors which will be used for the use in precision farming for the indicate the color of field that correspond to changes the soil types crop development field boundaries roads water etc aerial and satellite imagery can be processed to be provide visited witnesses which reflect the health of plant these are the different technology which is used in precision farming next one we can see the advantages of precision farming there is general advantages precision agriculture can contribute to the reduced waste as we know or seen in earlier slides that is whatever the inputs are applied in the field should be in the right time right method right way or proper method uh, there is concept of precision agriculture we should apply the fertilizers as needed or as needed to soil or crops helps to reduce the waste it helps to increase the total profit from the agriculture that is the main goal of precision agriculture is to maintain the profitability sustainability and the environmental quality as we know increase uh, main advantages of the precision farming that is to increase the total profit then also helps to protect the environment by precise application inputs but in the 
conventional system and the conventional fertilizer application which where the nutrients or fertilizers are applied in the more quantity which will be re release or vestige of this um, fertilizers which will be directly entered into the atmosphere or the in the water bodies or it should be polluted the soil water or the air then in case of the fish farming or agriculture which where the fertilizer or inputs are applied in the right time right method right way or right location it helps to protect the environment the precision agriculture can also provide the both environmental and economic benefits uh, as we the reduce the uh, target placement of the crop inputs such as water pesticide or nutrients this is the major uh, the advantages of this uh, uh, precision agriculture then uh, we can see the precise seeding then precise uh, <coughs> precise uh, precision harvesting then precision livestock farming uh, this is also the uh, uh, other uh, advantages of this uh, precision agriculture then precise uh, seeding uh, precise uh, pesticide application then precise nutrient application then uh, soil application as we see the first one that is precise nutrient application has give the important environmental and economic benefits the aim the aim of uh, precise nutrient application is to apply only the nutrient that uh, that the plant require and can use this is the main aim of uh, precise nutrient application the precise pesticide application has offer both economic and environmental benefits one of the cheapest and fastest environmental payoff of the for the application of pesticide as use guide to the reduce the environmental impact and precise soil application is the first step for growing of before growing of the crops in the ultimate object of this uh, is the uh, weed free seeded seed bed for rapid germination and emergence of the crops the one of the important tasks in the soil preparation is tilling that is turning of the soil as loosening and loosening it then precise seeding that is seeding or sowing is a critical step in crop growing for successful processing two challenges need to be overcome that is correct depth proper distance should be maintained while uh, uh, or during the seeding or uh, sowing operation then precise precision crop management where the during crop growth stages or uh, the phases the plants need a right amount of fertilizers adequate protection from pest and disease right amount of the water and the uh, helps to the produce more crops or the yield of the crops will be with the less uh, require input uh, application then precision harvesting for the farmers the harvesting is a critical point in the time speed accuracy and time determining whether the harvesting will be successful until recently harvesting was done in a burdensome of the laborious activity but with the help of precision farming the harvesting is done with the speed accuracy and timing with the timing and then a precision livestock farming is where the increase in production in the challenges of this uh, last of farming today then promoting sustainability and animal welfare then elevating farmers elevating farmers uh, workload and the ensuring economic viability of the farm operation hence there is need to include the last precision farming in uh, last of farming also then the, you can see the in detail the precision farming it is plf systems with the, uh, with the help of these systems will be increase the livestock production as well as quality, quality of the livestock uh, in a sustainable manner also trained with the care of uh, animals in terms of feeding milking and housing with the help of precision farming and also make the farmers daily task such much easy to handle with the help of precision farming for example in precision feeding system precision milking stable and farm management uh, then uh, benefits we can see the you know precision uh, livestock farming system they have the major benefit that is greater sustainability and higher productivity will be get with the help of precision farming that is recently studied how show the precision livestock farming management can raise the milk yield while also increasing cows life expectancy and reducing their methane emissions by up to 30 percent that is a major benefit of the precision livestock farming and second benefit that is increased animal welfare through the individual per animal approach Precision livestock farming system allows the farmer to follow and the 
manage the individual animal status and well being closely to at all the times. And also detect the pests, uh, detect the diseases at early stage, then their vaccination uh, it should be there and they also send them SMS. Then the third benefit that is easy ear farm operations. In precision livestock farming system enable the livestock farmer to take care of the large number of animals for farm. With the help of this technology, uh, farms or animal farms are easy to manage than the conventional animal farms. The next one, the dis uh, disadvantages of the precision farming. The precision farming cannot be utilized completely in every crop. Then the precision farming need to go to economic condition of the farmer for adopt adaptation. It requires technical and skilled persons. Initial cost is very high as well as the maintenance cost is also high. The adaptation of precision farming, farmer must to have the technical knowledge. This is a major advantage that is the uh, cannot be completely used in every crop or should be good economic condition then farmers can easily adopt. Uh, then also require technique and skilled person and then uh, initial cost is very high and also the main maintenance cost. Then uh, adaptation of the efficient farming farmers must be have the technical knowledge. Then we can see next one that is the major point that is difference between traditional farming and the precision farming for traditional farming the unit of treatment and organization the field is regarded as the homogeneous arable sites but in case of the precision farming unit of treatment and organization the arable sites that is regarded as different from one point to other that is field level is a heterogeneous that is in short traditional farming the fields are regarded as a homogeneous structure in the precision farming, the uh, fields are regarded as they are considered as the heterogeneous. The nutrient management based on the average sample taking in the traditional farming. In the precision farming, the nutrient management is based on the GPS uh, or the different technologies which we are used in the precision farming. Accordingly, the special technologies, the nutrients can be managed. Then in case of traditional farming, average survey of plant disease decreases. Uh, uh, survey on the plant decreases and damage uh, and in, uh, intermination if necessary. In case of the precision farming plant protection treatment based on the GPS and other uh, point like plant survey should be included. In traditional farming the sowing with same plant number and the variety but in case of precision farming plant species and the plant variety is specific sowing. Then the in case of traditional farming, same machine operation practice. In case of precision farming, the machine operation adjusted as per the arable uh, sites. Then uh, in case of traditional farming, unified plant stocks in the space and time. In case of precision farming, the unified plant stock organized into the homogeneous, homogeneous blocks at the arable sites. Then few data influencing decision preparation. In case of precision farming, the lot of data in decision preparation. This is a major difference between traditional and precision farming. Next one, the steps of uh, uh, steps in precision farming. The major two steps are uh, followed in the precision agriculture. That is identification and the assessment of variability. This uh, variability within the field, as uh, we, we can. Uh, seen earlier that is in grid soil sampling and the variable rate application technology is used to identify and assess the nutrient variabilities or the water variabilities within the field that is with the help of grid soil sampling the, the same principles of soil sampling but there increases the intensity of uh, sampling compared to the traditional farming as the samples are collected with the systematic grid should be uh, with have the location information and the accordingly data has to be mapped and the goal of grid soil sampling is the, uh, to generate the map of nutrient or the water requirement is uh, called as the application map and the second point is in, in identification or an assessment of variability that is yield maps yield mapping is the first step to determine the precise locations of the highest and lowest uh, uh, yield areas of the field and to, uh, accordingly analyze the factor causing yield variations. This is a major goal or aim of the yield maps. Then the one way, uh, uh, way to determine the yield maps is to take the samples from the land in by 
100 by 100 meter grid and third step that is crop scouting in this uh, crop scouting where there is the observations of the or scouting of the field in pest in infestation disease infestation or weed in uh, intensity or the uh, grow weed growth and the uh, intensity of these uh, weeds will be evaluated with the help of the scouting this is a major three uh, steps which will be included in the identification and assessment of the variability and then also the use of uh, precision technologies for assessing the variability faster and real time assessment of the variability is possible only through the advanced tools the second uh, steps of steps in precision farming that is management of variability variability can be uh, first step that is identify and assessing the variability with the help of uh, grid soil sampling variable rate uh, application yield maps and uh, crop scouting accordingly uh, the variabilities are identified to next step that is to manage the variability with the help of precision farming that is variable rate application the grid soil samples are analyzed in the laboratory and interpret the crop input needs is made of for each soil sample whatever the samples are collected it may be 100 200 or 1000 samples accordingly should be evaluated or analyzed in the laboratory and you interpret with their inputs uh, for example nutrient or water should be made for the each sample then the input application map is plotted using the entire sets of such sample accordingly mapping of this or uh, graphing of this or plotting of the map uh, uh, with the, their input application and their uh, with the set of samples the input application map is uh, loaded with computer mounted and variable rate application input applicator are used which were to give the real uh, or exact uh, information regarding the variability within the field regarding the nutrient or water the second point in the management of variability is yield monitoring and the mapping yield measurements are essential for making sound management decisions accordingly soil landscapes or other environmental uh, other environmental factors should also be weighed with, weighed with uh, the help of uh, interpreting the yield maps. Yield information provides the important feedback in determining the effects of managed uh, inputs. Then third one, the qualifying farm variability. Every farm represents the unique management. Then where will be the uh, uh, determine the variability in the field and without the cost of the prohibition of for the implement of this technology then last one that is flexibility the, all the farms can be managed precisely small farmers often uh, have the highly detailed knowledge of their lands but uh, uh, the large holder holding farmers have their the uh, same the variability within the field because of this uh, management of these uh, large hold farmers are not Easily, yes, hence there is really some the lack of knowledge regarding the variabilities. These are the two important steps followed in the uh, precision farming. Then, next, when we can see the components of precision farming, there are major components that is the remote sensing, geographic information system that is GIS, global position system that is GPS, soil testing, yield monitoring, or yield monitors, and the variable rate technology. Next one, uh, uh, you can see the general benefits of precision farming that is uh, potentially more economical, then also reduce the amount of chemicals released into environment, improve crop growth and profit, provide better information for making management decisions, provide more detailed and useful farm records, reduce fertilizer cost, reduce pesticide cost and also the reduce the pollution. This is the benefits of precision farming. The advantages of precision farming system to towards the farmer that is overall yield increase, efficiency improvement, reduce production cost, better decision in agriculture management, reduce environmental impact, and accumulation of farmers' knowledge for better management with the time. This is the uh, major advantages of precision farming system towards the farmer. That is first one overall increase uh, the yield. As we know, the precise selection of the crop varieties the application of the exact type and the doses of fertilizer as per the concept of pa that is correct time right time 
or the right way or right method right source along with the uh, apply the doses of fertilizer pesticide and herbicides and the appropriate irrigation to meet the demand of the crops which helps to increase the growth and yield of the crops the second that is the uh, advantage of pls uh, pfs that is efficiency improvement as we know the advanced technology uh, including machinery tools and information farmers helps to increase their efficiency of labors and uh, land and uh, time in the farming third one the reduce co- production cost as the application of the exact quantity of the uh, inputs and the appropriate time will reduces the uh, agrochemical input or uh, production cost and third one better decision ma- making in agriculture management as the agriculture machinery equipment and tools helps the farmers acquire more knowledge or accurate information which is process and the analyze for appropriate decision making without decision there will be the uh, collapse the uh, economics or the production uh, record which will be their uh, investment or the cost of production we will uh, there will be no matching this there is a with the help of precision uh, farming system which will be um, uh, take the better decision and the good decision is especially in the agriculture management then reduce the environmental impact as the timely application or as needed application of the agrochemicals in precision farming or agriculture means the accurate uh, rate to avoid the excess uh, excessive residues in the soil or the uh, loss of the soil nutrients in the soil or water helps to reduce the environmental pollution and the accumulation of farmers knowledge for better management at the time as the pl pfs is fields activities produce valuable field and management information and the data are stored in the tools and computers the farmers can uh, thus accumulate the knowledge about their farms and the production systems to achieve the better management this is the advantages of this uh, precision fa- farming system to the farmer then key challenges to precision farming in india the major challenges are the uh, precision farming will be adoption will be have the meaning pattern of the land holdings poor infrastructure lack of farmers uh, inclination to uh, task risk take risk socio economic and uh, demographic condition this is a major or key challenge in india to adopt the precision farming that is the unique pattern of the land holding the poor infrastructure lack of farmers knowledge on the socio economic condition and the demographic conditions then second uh, lacuna are the key challenges in india to adopt the precision farming that is small size of the farms and the fields is the most uh, indian conditions limits the economic gains then also the population and public uh, density concerns for the environmental uh, food safety and uh, animal welfare this is the major key challenges in india to adopt the precision farming and next one the opportunities and challenges in the precision farming or agriculture that is first opportunity appropriate questions that has been addressed at the field scale as the size of field is the major issue in indian conditions the methods for uh, measuring environmental endpoints that will be demonstrate the efficacy of the management practices this is second opportunity third one the commitment to the multiple years of the study to overcome the meteorological variations are observed adequate monitoring equipment for the crop production soil properties and environmental qualities also the uh, major key uh, challenge or the opportunity then use of the comparison fields or the farms in which no change are made to provide the validation of the improved practice in cooperation of the producer to implement practices with the more minor modifications across the year is also the key or the major opportunities then funding per source is a uh, also the major concerns in this especially the farmers the inter disciplinary teams that will be address the critical problem in the experimental design implementation and evaluation of the results and final opportunities or challenges that are the commitment from the scientists producer and educators involved in the maintain the interest in the project this is the major keys and challenges of precision agriculture in india then uh, what are the scope and adoption of precision farming in india precision farming concepts are applicable to all the agriculture sector 
लाइक एनिमल और द फिशरी और द फॉरेस्ट और द प्रिसीजन एग्रीकल्चर कैन बी क्लासिफाइड दैट इज सॉफ्ट पी ए और हार्ड पी ए द सॉफ्ट पी ए मेनली डिपेंड्स ऑन दी ऑब्जर्वेशन वेरियस ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ द क्रॉप एंड द सॉइल एंड द मैनेजमेंट डिसीजन बेस्ड ऑन द एक्सपीरियंस रेदर दैन द स्टेटिस्टिकल एंड साइंटिफिक एनालिस बट इन केस ऑफ द हार्ड पी ए द यूटिलाइज ऑल द मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक जी पी एस जी आई एस रिमोट सेंसिंग वी आर टी वी आर ए इन इंडिया नाइन्टी सिक्स मिलियन फार्म्स आउट ऑफ टोटल वन जीरो फाइव पॉइंट थ्री मिलियन फार्म्स हैव द लेस दैन फोर हेक्टर एरिया एज वी नो द वंस द प्रिजन फार्मिंग इज टू बी अडोप्टेड देर विल बी रिक्वायर्स मोर लैंड होल्डिंग और साइज ऑफ लैंड द फार्म विच विल बी इजीली अडोप्ट द प्रिजन फार्मिंग बट इन इंडिया देट इज Uh, only ninety six million farms out of total one zero five point three million farms of the less than four hectare area. So those only for fragmented lands are cultivated, and the present food production or grain production in India is nearly two hundred million ton, which has made India self sufficient in food production. As to complete with the world production, the crop yield per hectare must be economic. without a normal degradation which is the major scope and adaptation of precision farming in india that is hard pa or soft pa then also the india is overall fertilizer consumption rate is 84.3 per kilogram per hectare as we know the reduce the systematic soil testing creating soil maps along with the fertilizer recommendation is not uh, included in the farm level Uh, along with the nutrient zone space control disease weed management also plays an important role to get the high yields with the help of this uh, advanced technology it is possible to monitor and control the pest disease and the lower cost this is the major scope of precision farming or agriculture then some states like punjab haryana uses high doses of fertilizers and the pesticides for example the state of punjab has 1.5% total geographical area of india बट यूज वन पॉइंट थर्टी एट मिलियन टन्स ऑफ द फर्टिलाइजर्स वीडिसाइड्स एंड अदर एग्रीको केमिकल इनपुट्स ओवरऑल एक्सप्लाइटेशन ऑफ द लैंड एज वेल एज द एक्सेस यूज ऑफ द एग्रीकल्चर इनपुट आर द टिपिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस एरिया दैट इज पंजाब हरियाणा द ट्रेस मैनेजमेंट इज अनादर एरिया वेयर द प्रिजन कैन हेल्प Uh, indian farmers in settling irrigation more profitably by varying the timing quantity and placement of water the mechanization of farming helps uh, farmers reduce their labor cost improving the accuracy of farming including quality seed selection weed removing pesticide application fertilizer application harvesting and sorting of the crop as per the quality this is also the major scope of precision farming in india then there are many limitations out of the precision farming in developed countries in general and india is a particular then next one you can see the precision farming concept concerns for indian agriculture as the farmer is developing country is typically own large farm that is 10 to 1000 hectare or the more and the crop production systems are highly mechanized in the most cases large farms uh, may comprise the several fields in different conditions even with the relatively small field that is less than 30 hectare the degree of pest infestation disease infection and weed competition may differ from one area to other the in conventional agriculture the soil maps of the region may exist the farmer still tend to practice the same crop management throughout the fields then optimum growth development are the thus are not be achieved in the Uh, indian agriculture the furthermore there is a insufficient use of the inputs and the labor also the availability of it since 1980s the farmers provide with their new tools approaches to characterize the nature and the extent of variation of the field this is a major concerns for the precision farming in indian agriculture then we can see next one the practical problems or issues in precision farming or the agriculture there is main problem or practical issues are the small hold, land holdings and then heterogeneity of the cropping systems and the market imperfections complexity of tools and the techniques requiring the new scale labors lack of technical expertise knowledge and the technology 
and the infrastructure and the institutional constraint including market imperfections are the major or practical problems observed in indian farming or indian agriculture which will be uh, will be not easily adopt this uh, which is agriculture farming the next one steps to be taken for implementing pf or precision farming in india that is creation of multidisciplinary team in owning agriculture scientists in various fields engineers manufacturer and economists to study the overall scope of pa then the second step is the implementation of precision farming that is the farmers cooperation or cooperative since many of the precision agriculture tool it is gis gps are costly then governmental legislation restraining farmers using the indiscriminate farm inputs and their causing uh, causing the uh, ecological and environmental imbalance it will induce the uh, farmers to do the alternative approach then pilot study has should also be conducted the farmers field to show the result of pa the decision steps will be taken while implementing the pf in india that is a major steps next one the creating awareness among the farmer uh, about the consequences of the applying in balance uh, doses of farm inputs like irrigation fertilizer insecticide and the pesticides this is a major steps to be uh, implemented for uh, adopting the precision farming thank you this is a today's topic